Quebec hydropower plants are among the means of electricity that create the least amount of greenhouse gases. Emissions from reservoir generating stations are comparable to those of wind farms and are four times less than those from photovoltaic solar facilities. Forty years of scientific studies have demonstrated that a reservoir in Quebec is comparable to a natural lake. Reservoir ecosystems are similar to those of a lake, and the various fish and ducks there live out their natural life cycle. Quebec still has many great rivers that have not been developed for hydroelectricity, like the Moise, and Nottoway, and Broadback. Many of these rivers have a higher flow at the mouth and a much bigger watershed than the Romaine. Both energy efficiency and all forms of renewables have their place in a balanced portfolio that takes into account costs to customers. By 2015, Hydro-Quebec will have invested $3.5 billion to achieve 11 terawatt hours of energy savings, equivalent to the annual consumption of 650,000 Quebec households. It's currently more expensive to generate electricity with a wind farm than a hydropower facility. Right now, wind energy costs just over 10 cents a kilowatt hour when the wind farms are located near major consumption centers. Despite recent developments, photovoltaic solar power is still considerably more expensive than electricity from a project like Romaine. In Ontario, for instance, consumers pay 44 to 80 cents a kilowatt hour to integrate photovoltaic power into the grid. In Germany, we're talking about close to 60 cents a kilowatt hour for photovoltaic power, which translates into big rate increases in countries where there's been large-scale development of solar energy. Spain, for instance. In Quebec, geothermal energy, biomass and biogas run up against the same constraints as wind and solar power they are all currently more expensive. According to the Canadian Geo-Exchange Coalition, the average cost of the geothermal system most commonly installed in Quebec in 2009 was $28,000. Approximately 800 systems are installed each year. Hydropower generating stations with reservoirs provide Hydro-Quebec with a reliable energy supply. During morning and evening peak hours, our reservoirs enable us to quickly adjust generation to demand, as turbines can easily be started up and shut down. That stability and flexibility make hydropower an energy source that can support the development of other renewables that are intermittent, such as wind and solar power. A renewable energy project costing around 6.5 cents per kilowatt hour is a very good one. The Romain project will generate extraordinary economic spin-offs, totaling $3.5 billion, including $1.3 billion in the Cote Nord region alone. If we develop wind energy 1,000 or 1,500 kilometers away up in northern Quebec, the cost of transmission would be much higher. Existing transmission lines don't have the capacity to handle the additional power from new wind turbines. So new transmission lines would have to be put up, and that would be expensive.
Quebec. There's an estimated untapped biomass potential of 2,000 megawatts in Quebec. Unfortunately, biomass sources are often in remote areas and scattered widely throughout Quebec. The other big challenge is that homes would have to be equipped with steam heating systems and piping. Installation would be possible in new buildings, but it would be very expensive to retrofit existing buildings. It's important to continue to develop hydro in Quebec because that's really the foundation on which we can overlay energies, renewable energies like wind power. It's really the base. In other areas in the world, they also have their, their foundation energy. In Europe, a lot of it is fossil fuel, and they're adding to that renewables, but they have fossil fuel. In Quebec, we've got the tremendous advantage of having a renewable energy like hydro, which is really foundation, a very stable, reliable foundation on which we can then add renewables like uh, wind power. Hydro-Quebec is uh, continuing to develop a tremendous legacy for future generations. It's built on what we inherited in terms of past developments, but it's also built each and every day through the continuing development of hydro, but also the integration of renewable energies like wind power, uh, through the development of a grid, a transmission grid, which is a very reliable transmission grid to serve the markets in Quebec, the consumers in Quebec. It's a tremendous legacy, and uh, we're continuing to invest in it each and every day.